Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. We're an experienced and certified detective is about to educate you with facts and not hyperbole. Yes, you know, we'll not let this murder case of Junior Neville Jermian just be swept under the carpet because of political expediency and because of people connection to power. You understand? Justice must be served. Justice delays, justice denied. You understand? And you know, this case has been going on for a long time. The family have been crying out for help in Jamaica and the police force seems to be ignoring these people's voices. We have seen um, the disappearance of a young lady by the name of Donnelly Donaldson and her boyfriend is a police officer, Noel Maitland, and he's in custody. Um, which is an order key. That case, the, the, the case of um, Donnelly Donaldson, is a totally different case, other case. But yet still, he's in custody, in which we know that she's dead. Period. This channel already reported that. But this matter now, with Jonah Neville German, is the easiest murder case in the history of Jamaica, and it's unsolved. And the, the question is why? DCP Bailey. Fitz, um, DCP Fitz Bailey is the last person who is in charge of the six Criminal Investigation Bureau. That's the, you know, where the detectives investigate felonies. So he's the man that has the file in his possession and i keep giving his updates, updates. But the evidence is so overwhelming that Mr. Patrick Bailey should be arrested and charged. But what we are asking from Mr. Fitz Bailey is to give the same attention to this case as he has given to Donnelly Donaldson. So let all the stakeholders meet at CIB headquarters and they can discuss this matter and see along with the director of public prosecution and let's see what is their consensus. I want you to listen to DCP Fitz Bailey um, giving an press a, a, a briefing about the, the matter involving um, the disappearance of Donnelly Donaldson and to tell you how they arrive at this juncture. So I want you to listen to him keenly. As the investigation into the disappearance of Miss Donnelly Donaldson intensify on Tuesday the 26th of July a case review was held at the CIB headquarters between the hours of 4.30 and 10 p.m. A number of stakeholders were involved in that case review, such as the offices of the Director of Public Prosecution, Indicom, and police from different departments within the force. As a result of the case review, it was agreed that there was adequate evidence to link Constable Noel Maitland to the disappearance of uh, Miss Donaldson. On Wednesday, the 27th of July, Constable Noel Maitland was arrested on Duke Street by police officers assigned to the Counterterrorism and Organized Crime Division. He was placed in custody pending further investigation. At this time, I wish to point out that there is no evidence to link District Constable Simit to the disappearance of Ms. Donaldson. Further information will be made available in subsequent release. Yes, as a former member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, I must say I welcome um, this new police force method of keeping the public abreast of, you know, keys, you know, that the public has interest in. And it's very refreshing. But not only should this case um, receive the attention, but there are others, you understand? So we'd like uh, Mr. D, we'd like Mr. DCP Fitz Bailey give the Prime Minister's friend Mr. Patrick Bailey's case. Mr. Patrick Bailey is the only survivor 
in a case of murder and would, would like the same thing for a case review to go for him to take this file to CIB headquarters and let all the stakeholders go through it because it's an easy case you know I was a detective I've arrested and charged people for murder and convict and receive conviction in court you understand so I know that this case itself is one of the easiest case even a district constable could arrest and charge Patrick Bailey for this murder case for this case so we are asking Mr. Fitzbailey yes you know to show that you're doing your work without favor or affection malice or ill will by taking this case to CIB headquarters and get all the necessary stakeholders involved you understand excluding Mr. Bailey Mr. Bailey is a suspect because he's the only person that's alive from that um, from that murder scene and this is the reason why the Jamaican people do not trust the police forced to investigate um, murder cases especially a case of certain significance you understand so you know Mr. Bailey need to give this case now a, a fresh look the case in the circumstantial um, evidence is taller than Blue Mountain Peak and Mr. Patrick Bailey is not arrested and charged for this murder and that's why the public is asking why because it doesn't take a genius to evaluate what happened in that house when Mr. Germain was killed. It is a simple common sense. If two people are in a house, one person um, is dead and the other person is alive, there was no breaking and entering. Unless you believe in Doppy. You understand? Yes, if there's ghosts that's um, going around with guns shooting people, that's the only justification. So it has to be a dopey that killed uh, Mr. Jeremy and why Mr. Bailey is not arrested and charged for murder. So you see, when corruption, politics is married to corruption, this is what you get. Because people are beholden to others to carry their secrets and to protect them. But for how long? Yes, we notice that the PMP LGBTQ plus opposition leader Mark Golden is riding on the Donnelly Donaldson bandwagon for political mileage as if that is going to bring her back. You understand? We are not into the, the sensational thing. We are all about facts. So if Mr. since um, DCP Fitzbailey is not the initial investigator of the matter in which there are several matters that the police have investigated before that the, in, the investigator arrived at a different conclusion from the first person who was there. You understand? So we know that you have a police officer near MacArthur Sutherland. That's the man that you're seeing right there. That man, who, um, I was at training school with that man. Very brilliant um, investigator. One thing with him, he's not corrupt. I can tell you of all of the the gasset officers that are in the police force, he's not corrupt. I can tell you again, um, Emford Wade is not a corrupt gasset officer. Norman Sticky Hamilton is not a corrupt officer. I don't know if Wayne Clark is still serving. He's not a corrupt police officer. Um, Sharon Beeple, excuse my squad, is not a corrupt officer. Lie Darby, and I, you know, there's, but I know that there are. I know two deputy commissioners, three deputy commissioners of police that they could not even carry, carry a message for me. You understand? MacArthur Sutherland, when they're talking about the police force doesn't have qualified members to be commissioner of police. This is the man. This is the man that is not beholden to anyone. Yes, and the reason why I'm saying that, because, you know, when you work on the streets as a detective, you will hear things about other police officers, irrespective of the their jurisdiction where they were. And this is a man with an impeccable character, Makata Sadalan. Yes, I have never worked with the man. The only time I have interacted with him is when he was at the Jamaica Police Academy when I was there as a cadet. But I can tell you that this man, Makata Sadalan, is not your ordinary police officer that you can corrupt. You understand? MacArthur Sutherland, 
should be at least a deputy commissioner of police or the commissioner of police. But in case you do not know that the Jamaican elites and the political system, they do not want a decent, honest, ethical, morally inclined police force. They want to make sure that the person who's at the top is corrupted. Because if the police force was not corrupted, Mr. Bailey would be arrested and charged from the same night that the police had discovered Mr. Junior Never German bodies in his house. And it seems like justice is not only delay in this matter, but it's denied. Mr. Bailey should have faced the music from that night. But apparently somebody at the top had made promise to someone who was the initial investigator. That's why Mr. Bailey is walking around a free man. Corruption married to politics. And that is what is happening right here. Not because Mr. Bailey is aligned to the Prime Minister of Jamaica. That doesn't give him free rent to, to get away with murder. If he's the one who committed the murder, or if he wasn't, he's the only person that was in the house. There was no breaking and entering. And this is the hideous murder case in the history of Jamaica. And it's unsolved. Why? Mr. Patrick Bailey needs to face justice. DCP fits Bailey. It's time for you to take the case down to CIB headquarters and get all the necessary stakeholders involved and then give us a press conference. Or it seems like the people will have to demonstrate down here in Jamaica as they have done in knowing Maitland's case. Or the family of Mr. Of this man, of the deceased uh, man, Mr. German, they need to make a formal report to the United States Department of Justice and request that Mr. Bailey be extradited to the United States of America and tried for, the, for this murder. Mr. Neville German was an American citizen. When you kill an American abroad, you can be tried in America for that crime. So we are appealing to his family and to the United States Justice Department to do the necessary. Mr. Bailey should not be getting away with this murder or no murder. This is the easiest case in the history of Jamaica to be solved. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, this is time for you to subscribe. Please remember to like, share, and comment on the video. I wish you a beautiful day. One love. Peace.